Hello, my name is Musa, and in this episode we'll be making this responsive perfect square div in a grid. As you can see, completely responsive. You can add whatever content you want as well. And also, you can do odd and even amount of divs and it still be perfect square. Now, to be able to do this, we'll be using CSS Grid to make this happen, as well as JavaScript. So we'll be using grid template columns inside the CSS to start off with. After that, we use JavaScript to obtain the width of each individual div. From that, after obtaining the width, we dynamically add that length to CSS grid auto row, so for each individual one. And that's the sort of the basic idea to do this. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, here are the um, course files. So we have the index.html, we have the style.css, and the script.js. Um, just normal boilerplate for HTML. We're going to start with the HTML first. Um, so we're going to go square, then times that by nine. Would you, I'm using init here. This is why it can, enables this me to do this um, on VS Code. We have a div inside. Hopefully that'll sort it out. So we have ten divs with square. Let's just open this up. Let's put this in a section actually. So section. Go on container. Let's put all this in there. Let's just move this there. Um, so now we've got 10 divs. The reason why I got 10 is because I want to show you the odd one out. Um, I'm just going to have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got 10. Let's just zoom in. About 250. Um, yeah, I should do. That's all the um, HTML. So go into CSS now. I'm just going to add some boilerplate. I mean, just some prefix. So I just got rid of the padding, the margin, zero, box sizing, board box, font family, sans serif. It, just in case if you use images inside of it like this then we're gonna with the section container we're gonna add max width of 100 pixels we do oh looking at the wrong one we do width of 100 we do display grid all right so this is a grid that, that this is essential this um grid template columns we're gonna add the grid auto rows inside the javascript because this is it will be dynamically added um corresponding to the width of the um of each div so let's do repeat so you want to do the um, free, free, free. So do repeat, auto fit. Probably use auto fill if you want, whatever it's called. Um, free, free, free. Percent. So I've done that. Let's add outline. It's always one pixel. So I sort of see it. And as you can see, the um, even the tenth one now is actually uh, thirty three point three three. If you use a SAS you can probably calculate well you can calculate 
more accurately. Um, for each square now, we just add, we're going to center the text for these demonstration purposes. So we just use flex to center, like option center, line items, center. Okay. And if I actually know what I'll do is, yeah, I'll add the square color now. And for child, odd, and evens. Okay, so now. We'll just leave that for now, actually. So now we've got these widths all thirds, and if even if I add it to mobile, you're gonna see that. So let's do the uh, JavaScript now. Okay, now window. So we're targeting to the window. Um, we're gonna use event listener. Add event listener. We're going to use a load. And if you look at the um, Mozilla documentation, it gives you the most common categories of the events references on the DOM, the JavaScript for the HTML. Um, callback function, I'm just going to use an arrow function. Anonymous. So now we're going to target the width of these. So each width. So we're going to go const width. We're going to call it width. Document dot query select square. That's what we call each one of these, the divs. Um, I'm going to target the off offset width. Now, if we console log that, see what we get. This is on load, so we're only seeing it when actually. Let's do um, resize. And that's the second one we're going to be. So load is when it loads and resize is when we change the size. And as you can see, it dynamically adds it. Um, now we've got that. So we can go document dot. So now we're trying to get the height, but what we're doing is we're targeting the um, this bit here. So but essentially what we're doing here is actually adding grid template. Actually we're doing over to rows. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um over to rows. Let's just call it two hundred pixels. See what we get. I'm just gonna call this one out for now. We're obviously at two focusing in too much but if we you can see here they're targeting oh it's targeted more um oh yeah that's it so it does work in here but obviously it's static so it doesn't move as you can see that's why we have to dynamically add it in. Um, so we're going to here, we zoom back in. We zoomed in again. Just um, one thing to show you actually about grid offset width, if you've not known anything about it, is, um, if you don't know anything about it, is this. So it's the, yeah. So it takes the 
uh, everything inside the div, including the border. That's what it measures. With some um, pretty nerdy explanations on Stack Overflow. If you want to check that out, one goes above the other in terms of explanation. Um, so let's go back onto this. So I'll just show you how to do that. The uh, the row inside the JavaScript statically. So we go job document query select uh, container. So obviously we're targeting the uh, the container, not the actual individual element div. Good template template rows. Width. So we're trying to target the rows, but then we can't repeat them in this manner. So if we Uh, play now. Um, style, that should work now. So, only targets the first row. So, we need to add uh, obviously auto rows um, to respond in the JavaScript. So, let's just get rid of that. So, what this is how we go about doing that document query selector again um, container again we go style set property yes uh, set property. And we're going to use the grid auto rows, which takes in, and we're just going to use back ticks for this instead. Um, dot sign. So we can dynamically add the width as well as a pixel. I should see that one I see. Yes, does. So this is only this is for resize. So we're using grid auto rows, which is CSS properties specific to the size of implicitly created grid row track or pattern. A uh, nice example of min max here, um, and that was the same one as we used here before, but that was only um, one variation. This is now going to be throughout. We're using the set property um, method to interface as a new value for the property of the CSS style decoration object. It's just a um, fancier way, more detailed way of adding CSS styles to the DOM. And that should do it now so as you can see um pretty much near perfect probably say it's only it's only ever really a quarter of a or half a pixel but you can't really tell in the naked eye um I'm going to try change the styles up a bit. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, white salmon. Okay. White. You should just sort of see in a different 
white, no pun intended. Um, yeah, so we got this. I mean, uh, you can see that. But we still need to do it for the load now. So essentially same process again. But what we're doing is we're doing on load so a different event so essentially doing the same thing sometimes with the event load it might the size might actually not be as good as the the um the resize so maybe i mean you can probably try this if you want so just maybe or width small and width get the width the minus to by two let's say then add that in instead of this instead so width small so we just essentially we're just taking a few pixels off two pixels there technically so that's actually like you can see here it's taking two pixels off but you don't want to do it in this situation just in case come into trouble so all right it's not loading yeah should load oh yeah that's why um i'm just going to mix up the styles a bit now so the javascript's done now so as you can see completely responsive very nice um I'm going to just add an image in, but I'm going to add it into the background now and show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to add it to the, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to add it into this one. So we're going to do background. What have I called it? SQR one dot JPEG. Then we're gonna do background repeat. No repeat. Background size. Cover, then position relative, and that should do it. So it gives you a nice square for each one. And why well, you can use whatever you want, really, do whatever you want. I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do. Um, I'll show you other examples here. This is another example from someone, some other. Or developer companies so here you can see the squares it's probably responsive if there's another idea maybe you can do different shapes and here's another one like it's from illustration so yeah that's it really um here's the javascript pretty simple not much to it. i mean well not many, not, not many lines to it container and essentially this is what's making this happen is this working with this. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next tutorial.